Hi, I'm Jabez Lewis and today I'm going to show you how to push your Xcode project to GitHub with GitHub for Mac. I've just created a project here in Xcode and it's got a local Git repository attached to it. Uh, but right now if I go to source control and I say configure, I can see that there's no remote attached to it. But I'd like to make this code available to my friends and family on GitHub. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to do that. So regardless if you've got Xcode open or not, let's switch away from this and make sure you get, you download a little tool from the GitHub website, which is called GitHub for Mac. And here it is, I've opened it just now. Uh, and this allows you to take any of your current local Git projects and push it to GitHub for free. It's a free app and it's quite amazing. And the way you do this is you go to your repositories. If you, uh, if you're already in a repository, you may look at, you may see this view, um, or if you don't have any repositories, then you will just see an empty list. So regardless of where you are, head over to repositories and you either see a long list, uh, you do accumulate quite a lot of projects over the years. Um, and on the bottom left here, you see a little plus icon. And you can either create a new repository from here, which will set up a brand new folder with, with all the relevant uh, Git data on it, or you can add a local repository. Now, if you've uh, been working with Xcode, then Xcode will have already set up a repository for you. So you're gonna use the second option and say, add a local repository. And we're going to do that and now we can browse to where our local project is so i've saved mine here it's called table search 2014 and the git files are saved in a directory which is hidden by default so my finder won't bring it up but if this is your project root directory then you just select this folder hit add and github will notice here all the commits you've made the initial one and so forth and it will show you which files have changed and what has changed. So it's a very convenient method to have a look at what's happened here. And not only that, in um, uh, changes, you can also commit. So exactly what Xcode does when you head over to source control and you commit your changes, you can do the same with this tool. So if you have other projects that do not have an integrated Git source control mechanism, you can just use this one and uh, basically source control everything. It's fantastic. Uh, up here, you have this button which can be toggled on and off. If this is not green, uh, you can just uh, type in a message here. This would be your commit message and hit commit and all your changes would be committed to the local repository. And if you click this one, then it will uh, do the same, but at the same time also push your repository over to GitHub. So right now I haven't made any changes. All I want to do is push to GitHub. So this is my repository. I like to push this to GitHub. Click this, give it a name and a description. So in my case, this was an iOS demo project. And you can have several accounts here. And you can, if you are a paying member of GitHub, then you can also keep your code private. I only have a free account, so uh, all I get is the free option. But I do have several accounts, uh, and I, could, I can select which account I'd like to push this to. And I can also upgrade to a paid account right here. So name and description, let's push this takes a second and now all my commits are synced with the remote let's have a look what that looks like on the web okay I'm at github.com forward slash verse Lewis this will show you a list of uh, everything that I've done and under repositories the latest repository that I've just pushed will be here already so there it is table search 2014 very exciting and it's got my name and my description here and when it was last updated. Let's click it. And this is your project. So from here you can do all the GitHub related stuff that you wanted to do. Uh, and in Xcode, or if we go back to Xcode here, Xcode can be a bit temperamental if you, um, if you go over to source control and examine your local repository right away and uh, configure. 
you may find Xcode can crash. Let's see if it happens or not. Remotes, yay, no, it hasn't crashed. This is very good. And it acknowledges that my origin here is on GitHub. So that's perfect. Next time you make a commit, you can ask Xcode what to do. You can then tick this box here, push to remote, and then it will automatically, just like the GitHub for Mac app, it will commit your change and push it straight to GitHub. It's a very convenient way of getting your changes seen by friends and family. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave me a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.